for everybody when everybody is crying out for justice for open government for transparency for integrity in life i saw mwishma maina wanjigi stand up for moroto people moroto is in kamukunji and people used to even those days joke about you be moroto <laughs> Even as late as last month the people of Kamukunji suffered demolitions the people of Kamukunji are still crying out for justice Jimmy you and I and others have to take it up from there may god bless our country and may mze maina wanjigi rest in eternal peace amen thank you very much big clap i have only one thing left to say which i think it's important that uh, you all know my father was a very lucky man he was very gifted he was very blessed and he enjoyed very good health so i'm going to talk about his last mile his last mile we have only had th three scares in his life for his health The first was in 2017 2018. Uh, is Dr. Silverstein still here? I know he had patients to go to. Dr. Silverstein has been his doctor for 40 years. And in 2017 2018 he had a problem with his first and second vertebrae where the cartilage between had eroded. We took him to London. He was getting paralyzed. We took him to London. He was there for about a month. Best doctor that you could find. He came back. And his doctors were predicting that he would probably walk in about a year to 18 months. They were being optimistic. Our father with his strong mind his positive spirit in 6 months he was going to the office give him a big clap the second time was covid the original covid where both mom and dad got covid and when we took dad to hospital the same dr silver sign told us from a quick scan of his lungs It looks like 90% of his lungs have got water. He almost intimated that it would be a miracle for him to come out of this. Mom was not so bad. But I can tell you within 3 4 5 days in that covid ward at Nairobi hospital he was calling us at midnight and 1 o'clock cuz he didn't know the time saying can you come and get me out of this place I'm fine. and sure enough after one week he walked out that is my father but last year we kept taking him to hospital and we didn't know quite what was wrong and around september last year dr silverstein calls us to the office and he tells us that your father has a condition that medically there isn't quite a cure he called it amyloidosis something we had never heard before so um, amyloid is a disease enters the red blood cell and the, catches the protein in the blood and as it travels through the blood stream it falls so that protein continually gets into muscles of the body that folded amyloid had folded and entered the heart in large quantities he treated my father for heart disease and heart problems and heart checkups for many many years and this was just something that he had not and nobody he says really looks for so he felt that this amyloid that had lodged into his heart had now was now causing him heart failure 
So we asked our siblings, what do we do? Doctor said that there is a stem cell treatment that maybe we can try, it's on trial. And it's in America. So he contacted his friends and called us back after about two weeks. And they said that particular treatment is on trial. It's going to cost a lot of money. And they have to really assess whether they're going to do it for our father at the age of 92. We said money is not an object. We are going to pay. We are going to look for the money. That's not a problem, no matter how much it is. The doctors declined. We pleaded again. We said we'll indemnify. The doctors declined. So our father, my mother's husband, who had done everything in his life to make sure that we have a very decent living, had done everything for us that any possible father, husband could do beyond his obligations. We could not save him. And we as siblings decided that we are not going to tell him. And we also did not tell our mother. And we got our doctor to vow to us that he will not tell them either. So from September last year, we have been painfully watching heart failure set in and not being able to do anything for him. It has been a very trying period. He left us last Friday. And I can tell you he left us with a smile. He left us with positivity. He literally chose the day that he wanted to go. I want to just say one other thing. That they say, and maybe Bishop you'll correct me, that God's purpose for mankind is to come and extend his kingdom of heaven here on earth. I want to say that my father did everything to extend the kingdom of heaven here on earth, adding value to everybody that crossed his path. We thank you, Lord, for him, and we shall continue his legacy. Thank you very much, all of you.